Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Virgo? Hope you guys are enjoying spring. It is the beginning of a new month, new possibilities. Let's stay positive and optimistic. For those of you guys returning, welcome to my channel, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the recent videos going up. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading, Virgo. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2022. What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What can they expect for this month of April 2022? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go. What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, your first card here is the Two of Pentacles, decisions to be made for this month. For some of you guys working in uh, creating balance in your life, creating uh, stability, um, it's about prioritizing and um, making time for everything, whether it's in your love life, your personal uh, career, um, family life. Um, I see for a lot of you guys, uh, you may be experiencing a lot of communication for this month of April. Communication that comes through um, having a very deep rooted connection with family and friends. Um, so it may be a feeling of like people pulling you towards different directions and you're going to have to, uh, like I said, create, uh, prioritize more than anything. Um, I'm hearing for some of you guys, um, you may be pushed to make a decision, some type of decision that's coming up here. Our next card here is the Magician card. So uh, Magician is that of uh, an idea. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, uh, the potential that you have is great for this month of April. I feel like if you guys start putting or creating focus in um, ch achievements or desires or manifestations that you're wanting to bring through, um, Prioritize, prioritizing is something that's very important and something that's coming through. For those of you guys that um, have been working on manifestations, uh, what they're telling you here is uh, pick and choose your battles. Um, so what I mean by that is uh, there is something that is creating a lot of imbalance in your life. Like I said, as an example, for those of you guys that have been working and trying to manifest something in your life, perhaps you're expecting uh, too much. Um, or you're asking for too much and there is a need for clarity. Uh, there is a need to have a clear, concise idea of what it is that you want and focus primarily on that to create or to give you, <coughs> excuse me, the facilitation of manifestation. So again, we go back to that of prioritizing. As an example, if what you're trying to manifest is to bring towards you um, the perfect job, uh, perhaps you're being very general. Perhaps you are like, I'm wanting a good job. I'm wanting good money. I'm wanting um, something that I enjoy doing. But you're not being very direct in what you're asking for. So what Spirit is telling you here is make decisions, make choices. And based on those choices, cho choose what it is mostly that you are really wanting to manifest at this point in time. And focus primarily on that or give your attention to that. Now, this could be in regards to relationships as well. Perhaps for this month of April, you're going to be challenged in uh, the opportunity of having to connect or meet different people. And in doing so, um, perhaps you started with wanting something long term and all of a sudden you get all of, all of this attention um, and you're kind of entertaining all the other possibilities when spirit is telling you. Uh, that's not essentially what you asked for. We gave you a broad perspective on what's out there, um, but it definitely comes down to you and the choices that you make, um, whether you know it works out or not. And here with the moon card, it is speaking about um, fantasy. It's speaking about illusions. It's, it's speaking about um, allowing yourself to run away with your imagination. Are you being grounded in what you're wanting to achieve? Are you being grounded in the approach um, you're wanting to stand out uh, at your company or the work that you do, but yet you're lazy and you're not wanting to put the effort and step up and work a little bit harder than everyone else? 
you're not really connecting to what you're asking for. So what Spirit is telling you is be more grounded in your approach uh, when trying to draw in or when trying to experience certain realities. Um, and when the opportunities present themselves, make sure to choose the one you were hoping or wishing for, not just because something that may seem initially better, um, you go for that and it's not necessarily what you were asking for and then you're sad and depressed that it didn't go anywhere. So it is about having a crystallized idea of what it is that you want, my lovelies. That's that's definitely something that's coming through very strongly. And again, with the five of pentacles, exactly what we just said right now. It's almost like um, you're very sure and very certain about things that you want in life. And then the universe gives to you or presents opportunities or people or situations that may benefit you. And instead of taking a leap of faith, instead of taking the bull by its horns, you kind of sit there and mellow or entertain other possibilities. And then you're left feeling like the rug was pulled under you. Um, and the reason for this is because it's very easy for us to run on fantasy or illusions without seeing the reality of things. So what they're telling you here is, again, be crystallized in what it is that you're wanting to bring towards you, what you're trying to manifest. And this is in every single aspect of your life. doesn't have to be romantically. It could be in your finances, in your career. Like I said, uh, the desire of wanting to stand out at work or to often complain uh, that you're not being noticed or that people are not giving you the credit that you deserve yet uh, when it comes to putting the work in, um, you allow other people to be the ones to either pick up your slack or um, continue to do more work. How do you expect to stand out when you're not even trying? Um, so it's about being clear and being concise in what it is that you want and doing or working or putting the work to make that happen. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.